Hi everyone, it's Kathy with Plan Happy With Me. If this is your first visit here, we are working in my Franken Planner in my Teacher Planner for this video. Uh, if you're a repeat planner friend, you know that the right side I do off camera to save us both some time. So we're going to get started and we're this week's theme is kind of like fruit. It's watermelon and bees and lemons and so it's just summertime fun food fruit. And so this is where we are at. So the date on this it's a little bit strange for me. I don't normally do stuff like this, but I wanted to use what I had. I didn't like what I had, so I tried to add to it, and I'm okay with it. I'm, I'm thinking of it as a striped or a uh, watermelon kind of thing. I'm trying to be open. <laughs> Okay, so let's see. This is number seven. So what I'm doing is I had these colored numbers, these colored dates. This is a uh, kind of a dark green. I don't know if you'll see it very well in the video, but it's really obvious. Uh, this almost looks black, doesn't it? But it's not. It's green. And then these little tiny date covers. This is why I was like, I want to use these, but they're so little that something else needs to be done with them. So that's my creation. It's not perfect, but I can live with it for a week. So I'm just going to keep on working with these, cut these down just a smidge so they fit on that red. Um, I'm going to call it an underlay. It's from Girl Boss Anna who isn't Girl Boss Anna anymore. I just talked about her the other day and I cannot for the life of me remember what she changed her name to and her product line. I don't think you can get the underlays anymore because she changed her product line, but I could be wrong. Okay, so almost done with the date. This was an undated teacher, uh, I guess I'm going to call it paper, was an undated teacher paper piece, and I am getting very close to running out of my classic sized pages. I probably won't have enough to finish out my year, which I'm really actually kind of glad about. I'm just going to um, scan it and uh, print it from the scan and to finish out the year. I really wanted to use what I had and I'm really grateful that I was able to get it used. The only thing I really think I have left in classic size is note paper, which I'm not even sure the best way to use some of that. And I keep the dividers and the next page, so I actually have the calendar because the tabs are what's important to me. I have to have tabs and they have to be the right tab. I don't like covering them and doing that for another day. So category stickers are next. I put them on on this way. I recently realized this is such a help to put them on quote upside down because I can see better uh, lining them up. Instead of looking over the sticker, I can see right square up. So it has really been, the year's half over and I finally figured out this little trick. So anyways, I really like this theme of this watermelon. Now this is that stickers collection. I've done a couple of these recently. This was all there was. And so I had to be very creative, find all my pieces, figure out how I was going to do everything, which actually was kind of fun. So I think that actually looks pretty good. So we'll just push it all down 
and we are in business so now I think I'd like to use this one but I think it's too long yes so hopefully this one is not yeah it's gonna be close okay kind of screaming at us isn't it okay well we're gonna leave it for now um, and then, so now we got to do the noted section, which is, uh, actually, it's not a dot first. Where did I, really? I didn't pull that off. All right, let me get the winter book. I didn't show you my supplies. That was not very nice of me. Okay, I used the winter 2.0. For the green and the red because Mojo has a Christmas collection in there and if you have the first winter book it's the same colors in there um, there's just no dots and I needed the dots so it doesn't matter what book I chose it out of that's just I came out of this one because I needed the dots Okay, so we'll just pull these off because I need these. And then we'll set that book aside. Now, I'm going to start with the rectangle because I have to squish that dot kind of in there. You'll see what I mean here in just a second. I have to squish that in. Um... So that I can get my mood and my stress sticker in there. And I still have room for my emoji sticker when I need it. Okay. And that is how the rest of this week is going to go. I think I'm going to try and go ahead really quick and put these on. I was going to try put you on hold and try to save a few seconds here. But... It's almost just as easy to keep talking. Okay, so I don't really have any summer travel plans, but I am going to go visit my aunt and my cousin in Oregon and um, spend a little bit of time up there. I am working on a family tree planner. I'm using a dashboard for that. And I'm hoping to get my aunt to kind of help me with some of that. So I'm excited about going up there and doing that with her and uh, spending time with her. And uh, my cousin and I always have a great time. She's my travel buddy. So yeah, there. that's the noted section. Meals doesn't get anything. And self-care and goal, they work hand in hand, so we're going to work on the sleep trackers. Now, I know I've said I'm, these are not my friend, and, but these happen to have only three spots. So I was like, well, they're the right color. We're going to use them for this week. So, yeah, that's the story for this week. Um... They usually have four or five dots, and then I don't like cutting them because I never get them cut straight. And they're too much work to try to cut them in my trimmer. So this, this is why I say they are not my friend. But these have exactly what I need. They're the right length. So there you go. That's my sleep tracker. Okay, so now it's time for self-care and goal. And these work hand in hand. I am color blocking these, by the way. So the green will be all the way down. Whoops, that one's crooked. The green will be all the way down. The red will be all the way down. So that's how come they look kind of um, the same. Now I've talked about in other videos when you have two colors and you want to change it up it's um, kind of hard to do when they're on two different lines because you really can't. So you have to decide do you want two the same 
or do you want to the same? So in this instance, this is my skinny because I'm going to color block it. Now, I only have one of these. There was only three deco stickers and I spent the good part of the day trying to find another watermelon sticker in all of my sticker books. I must have used them all by now. Um, but I am excited to say I found something I think will work in the Happy Illustration book. It's pink and the green is more mint, uh, not mint, but spring green. Um, but I, I, oh, I think I'm going to put this over here. I am excited that I actually found something that we can work with. Now, I wanted to put two pieces in here. I didn't realize how big that piece was. Well, what I don't want it to look boxy. So we're just going to put one piece in there. Okay. All right. Now I will show you the right side of the page. And then we will be all done. There you go. I hope that you like this video. I hope that you consider hitting the like or the subscribe. Say hi so I can say hi back. I love meeting new people. If you have any questions, leave them below. I'll try to answer them for you. Thanks for watching and have a great day. See you in the next one. Bye.